Okay, let's do this. So we're gonna drop down. Hey. Oh my god, I was okay. pressing S. I'm such a bad fighter. Let's try it again. Hello everyone, my name is Mike, and welcome to my playthrough of Game of Thrones. This is episode 4, the episode is called Sons of Winter. Um, so we're well past the halfway point now in the series. There is six, six episodes. The other two are coming soon. So um, we'll get a little recap as soon as we start this. So let's begin episode 4. Previously on Game of Thrones. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove? That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a bastard? It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still marrying into this wretched family. I will tell my father our betrothal stands. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragons, you best choose your words carefully. Malcolm! Are you gonna be a good little forester, learn your lesson, and stay down? You can be Lord Roderick, so long as we all know who holds the reins here. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your ward. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. That was such an epic way to end that um, scenario right there. <laughs> that guy got Brit. I think I just kicked him off the... There he is. I kicked him off the wall because um, he, he attacked me first. And I was saying to myself, if you come at me, I'm going to finish you. And um, I stuck to my word and that's what happened. So, um, although we killed the brother on the wall, it's kind of like, you know, that's a crime. So, we'll have to see how this goes against um, Garrod. Is his name Garrod? I think his name is Garrod. Oh, he's been prison. He's got him um, handcuffs on. Garrett Tuttle. I knew you were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. What sort of brother you really are? It wasn't my fault. He attacked me, and and we fought, and and you threw him clear off the wall. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now, you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. Really? You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. I swear by all the gods, old and new, this was an accident. I didn't mean for him to die. <laughs> That's such bullshit. I didn't mean it. Murder's in your blood. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger! I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. Here we go. Is he gonna defend us? I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. I saw everything. Let's go along go with this. On, then. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? We've been quite kind to him, so hopefully he'll return the favour. telling the truth. 
Brit attacked him. Yes. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. No, we're not. He's telling the truth. You can't fault a man for defending himself. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. As long as it's not the iron price, I'm alright. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrett. You told me there wouldn't be any trouble with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrett. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. Um, I'm sorry. But there's no coming back from this. I'm sorry I let you down, John. I didn't mean for it to come to this. You gave me your word, Garrett. It can't have been easy. Facing the man who killed your family. Aye. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. But you're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? When you put it like that, it kind of makes sense. Let's be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. Now let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Come on, though, right? This is was this was defense. He started it. Like if he didn't kill. If I didn't kill him, he would have killed me. So, like, it's you can't win. It's a bit of bullshit, really. It's a shame they haven't got CCTV. <laughs> also, as well, um, there's another guy. I think his name... Is it Finn? I think his name's... No, not Finn. It was the other guy. The other guy who's um, our friend on the wall. I can't remember his name. He's got blonde hair. He's a wildling. So, um, he, I think he's looking to get back onto the other side of the wall anyway. Um, into the wildling territory, so I think something's going to happen with Garrod and him. You know that Garrod's not going to be um, a man of the Night's Watch for too much longer now. I don't think he's going to go rogue. I think. I think anything on the wall as well. That's like normally my favourite storyline within Game of Thrones. Like on the TV show, I really like Jon Snow's story and everything on the wall. And then the ga this, this game, I quite enjoy the whole wall stuff as well. Right, where are we now? It looks like we're um, at Khaleesi's army, the... Unsolid. So we're going to be playing as... Is it Asher? Is that his name? It's been so quite a while since I played the previous episode. I'm trying to remember everyone's Do you name. Do know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Asher, that's right. Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. So we found Daenerys. Liars. Every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. I wouldn't lie to you. You have my word. Your word means nothing. Not when it is so easily bought. We're talking about Daenerys' dragon, and that we've seen it. She, we're trying to tell her that we've seen the dragon, you know? Oh, shit. <sighs> Are you frightened? <laughs> I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. He's smaller than the other one. I'm still getting used to it. Yeah, he's smaller. It's all right. He's uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, 
A man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. Um, I'm inclined to agree. I'm gonna touch him. He won't bite. Kind of impress um, Daenerys. I think the voice actress as well is um, is not Amelia Clark. It doesn't sound like her as much. So let's touch Vizarian. Oh, hello. It doesn't like that. You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. We got Drogon's tooth, didn't we? Here we go. A problem? I have this. Oh. Hey. Where did you get that? What have you it's... done to him? If you've hurt him, hurt him. He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. He wouldn't harm anyone. If we did, I'm sorry. It wasn't our intention. We weren't looking for a fight. And neither was he. Sure he wasn't. Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. Why did you come here? You've been polite, accommodating. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me? Uh, I have to then. I want your help. I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. I, I don't think I should have said that. I have to find an, an army. army. If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army, but what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. What's about after the liberation? These are people who have suffered for years without end. I would only need a few men. Those who follow Croft could come with me. The rest are yours. They are all mine. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter Marine. What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me, Croft. You may leave. But that's but it. Your Grace. See them out. Um, Beshka knows the city. Beshka knows the city better than anyone, Your Grace. What the hell, Asha? Is this true? Shit. <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. She didn't like that, did she? I thought she would have been alright with that. Because, like, we're getting in there. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the second sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asha. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove value. I'm not going to push um, Beshka, so I'm going to say this one. Asha, please. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you, or you won't be going at all. Why is I she so against going? Fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. Why? If I find you've lied or put my men in danger. I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. I think because Besh has got like a bit of a bounty on her head, so she doesn't want to um, have anyone see her. Told you I didn't want to go back to Marine. 
What the hell was that? Sorry. What's your problem with Marine? Enough complaining. I'm s let's ask this one, the top one. What's the problem with you and Marine anyway? It doesn't matter now, does it? Beske. Get your armor patched up in here. It doesn't Take matter. Stop going on about it. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Nail! We got two more. Alright then, so back to um, where we going now? In Roderick? Yeah. I'm quite impressed on myself remembering most of their names. <laughs> Although I couldn't say the guy's name on the left. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You want to take Griff down next time? You want to stop lying in the mud and letting people walk all over you? You're speaking to your lord, Sir Roylin. He can fight his own battles. You know why he had to stay down. Even so. Stay humble. It set a precedent. Look at me, Roiland. I can barely hold this damn thing, much less swing it. So, you're gonna give up then? No. There are other ways to fight, my lord. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. All right. Um, is he going to show me what I should be doing? What are my options here? Just the chest? Oh god, I didn't even click it. I didn't even do it. Opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Okay, let's do this. So we're going to drop down. Hey. Oh my god, I was pressing S. I'm such a bad fighter. Let's try it again. That's it. Why does he use the back end of the sword, though? Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. Oh. <sighs> My lord, sorry to interrupt. Elena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Roderick, can I speak with you? Privately. Yep, what's up? You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. We've not seen him before. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. Maybe this was a bad idea. I think she's very sweet, Elena. I like her. You're always welcome here. We are to be married. You'll be calling Iron Wrath home soon. Yes, well, um, that's why I came, actually. Oh. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father Griff had subdued you and. And that my sister would make a fine reward. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean? He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, would be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! Elena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. I'm not gonna be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not going to be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. We need an army soon. We haven't got anything I can't to fight. Any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. 
and so have I. Talk like it's as simple as walking up to him and putting a knife in his heart. He's protected by a garrison of his own soldiers. We have a way around that. It's a weird whistle. Um, what is he? Is she supplying an army for us so we can take him down? Because we've got like no army at all. I don't think we've literally got a single man. You brought your men. Nice. I command father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. Oh god, definitely. The whole guard. Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Nothing at Griff all. Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Let's talk about Ryan, his little brother. White he'll still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff, and you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please promise me you'll do this. I mean, I she is right. We haven't got much of an Griff. option. I don't want any of this. Will you help me? I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quill. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? They look pretty decent, the army. The soldiers, look at them all. So professional. Where Griff's men are all drunks. You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I'd like that very much, Elena. Then you know where to find me. Of course, kiss her. She's your wife to be. She's she's a lovely character, Elena. I really like her. It's not a bad bone in her body. And now we're catching up with him. Is it Myra or Mira? I think it's Mira. That's how you pronounce it. She's the um, the sister, the older sister of the Forrester family. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. <laughs> For all of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to so this is um, taking place now alongside the TV show. The um, just after Joffrey was poisoned at his own wedding. So everyone's talking about the new king. Tommen. Joffrey's brother. What is it, Tom? I remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick. About Whitehill's contact. Did you find anything? Only whispers. But your brother's right. Lud Whitehill. Lud Whitehill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Something big. But I don't know what. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah oh. help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Uh, we're not on good terms. I thought... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go for the middle one. Sarah's not really happy with me either. Some things I may have said. Well, I can't remember what I said to her. To get you in there. You might as well try, right? It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. It's funny how that um, everything can change so sudden. King's Landing's a hell, you know. Just you're never balanced. 
All right, then, guys. That's all we got time for for this video. And um, we've had quite a good introduction there of each character and what they're up to now in this episode. And we'll continue their stories in the next video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.